All right, it's Chaotic Crypto, where we defy tyranny. Here's what we got going on today. So we're getting a little bit of a bounce, not really a whole lot of uh, bullish momentum. Got to be 100% honest. Um, we're getting the stochastic RSI crossing down, which is actually kind of a good thing. That means we're starting to consolidate downwards, which we needed. Uh, I feel a lot better once you know, we get a full reset all the way down into this oversold area. I feel a lot better. What I'm kind of speculating to happen is that we'll find some support on the 200-week moving average. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, 26K, I mean, we might wick down at 25 or 24, uh, the previous you know, resistance down here. This is also an inverse head and shoulders pattern. The target is about 38K. Um, it, it, that's what I'm finding pretty interesting. Uh, also, uh, looking at the Fibonacci retracement, we could come down to as far as 0.618, be 22K. I, I, I really hope we don't go that far down. That kind of invalidates some of our bullish momentum. Um, I'm still thinking that you may could be pretty bullish. We're just April, we're kind of getting a reset for the next week or so, which would be great. I'd be worth it. I think that something like that would be pretty positive. Um, but if we do get like you know some kind of crazy rejection and come all the way down to like 20k again, that's a hell of a zone to try to get back into. It's really good, going to present some really good opportunities. But altcoins have gotten pretty pretty hard hit. I think there's some good opportunities there as well. So no, you know, nothing to really fret about in my opinion, uh, other than the fact that U.S. really sucks with crypto, and it seems like everyone wants to go off shore Coinbase, and everyone's talking about going to like U.K. and stuff, and it's just really sad to see America's decline. Uh, thanks, thank you, Gary Gensler and the current administration uh, for being communist. Yeah, terrible people. Anyways, uh, beyond that, I think things are going to get better. You know, maybe. Yeah, we are finding some support on the regular RSI, so we could end up seeing some bullish momentum here pretty soon. If we get a cross down on this, that's going to be pretty, that could be pretty bad. Let's see, every time, was the last time we had a cross? Um, cross down, we had a cross down in it. Let's see, hang on. I never really look at this indicator that much. This is, it's kind of interesting try to catch this sorry one second yeah our, hmm. so we had a cross okay anytime you get a cross down let's see this one in particular April 2022 that was a bad one right uh, April 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 right here yeah that was a cross and that showed some severe uh, rough times right there. There's another cross. Uh, November that was the big. That was the sign of the big bear market we had. We had another cross here. A dump. You know, if we do get a cross, I think it's going to be a smaller kind of a dump. I mean, it could be a big candle, but let's see us if it's the size of candle like this. Price range tool come down twenty six. 26 to 30 percent. Now we've already retraced a fair amount. We've retraced so far a total of 12 percent, which isn't that bad, really. Now, if we go to 25 percent, you're looking at 0.618 down to 22k, 22, 23, which is I was which I was talking about earlier. 20 percent be 0.5. I feel like this move is. This bullish momentum move is not over yet. I think this is kind of a reset. So I really don't think the 0.618 is going to be a one retest. But if I'm wrong, we'll certainly go down there. So again, probabilities and chances. I, you know, looking at previous bull markets. Again, uh, you know, the, the breakout rallies that start the bull market pretty much uh, disbelief rallies, as they call them. Uh, the, the tops of them don't really come in until June, July. You know, yeah, June, June and July, really, and then the breakdowns. Let's see, it went from August, September, October, down December. I, that that was the 2019 cycle. 
So and I, I think we're going to have bullish momentum through May and June. Um, here's the uh, 2015 cycle. So the breakout rally, I would have thought, would have been... Mm, I would consider this the main breakout rally, but this could be the disbelief rally right here as well. So maybe we break out November, retest. We still went sideways. It wasn't like that bad. It wasn't like completely terrible. So it's tops. And we didn't have a blow off top like that yet. You know? Like more like here. Maybe we're in some a situation similar to right here. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, I feel like we're kind of in a similar situation right here. And then maybe we come up. This, this, that top, it's about the same. Maybe we get down another 10% or something. You know, they rhyme, they don't, they don't mimic exactly to the T, but I think a little more retest could be in the cards. Again, I, I don't know for sure. <laughs> uh, so, Crypto Fear Greed Index is at 53. You know, that's... We're in neutral territory. I'd feel better if we were in fear by now. But we're kind of in no man's land, as a lot of people are saying. It's with the crypto bubbles. Floki, I don't know much about that. I'm guessing it's probably like... A, uh, something like meme coins. I'm not really a fan of any of that. What is that? Floki. Oh my god. I have no idea what that is. I would not buy stuff when they go up crazy like this. Stax has been really a big performer in this bull run so far. Which has been interesting. Well, we're not in a bull run yet, but... Though, by some definitions, people would consider us in a bull run. If we look at the 21-week uh, moving average... Let's see where that is, actually. 21 week. Yeah, the 21 week is moving average is what a lot of people use um, for their momentum indicators. And that's actually sitting at 23, 24K, which I could see us using that as support for a bit. Um, in the, what's, that was like the indicator of the 2019 bull run, the 21 week. So that and that might be something because this bull run is actually mimicking a lot of the 2019 cycle a lot more than the last. So if that is to hold true, you know we would be using this 21 week moving average uh, almost the entirety of the this bull run. So maybe that would be a place to set buy or just kind of look at the 21 week. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of feeling right now. We did set a few candles sort of on the edge there. September, June. Hmm. Interesting. I, I, the 21-week moving average might be the, the winning play on this bull run. So it did not respect it too much. Let's see. We did get to it. It rejected before. And it did provide support on that last leg, that mosquito candle. So it's going to be really interesting to see how it holds. I bet it will be our uh, canary in the coal mine or what the... Uh, it's a good metaphor. I think that's going to be our sweet spot. So, 21 week moving average, 23, 20, 23, 24K. Okay, let's all look at uh, some of the other indicators. I'm, I'm actually feeling more bullish than anything right now. I, I'm also going to look at the um, the, uh, the total uh, market cap of crypto, because we're really low on that. I just don't, I don't see us going much lower than our total cryptos, crypto market cap. Uh, four hours, looking a little bit... Uh, Stochastic kind of wants to come back down, so we might have some short-term pullback. Uh, daily is oversold on the stochastic. We're kind of a no-man's land on the daily stochastic. Let's look at the hourly just for fun. Let's 
coming up. You know, the four hourly is kind of showing me some bad signs. The daily, you know, we, we might just go sideways for a bit more, but, you know, we need to pump up and then fall back down. I mean, overall, zooming out, this is a consolidation move. Um, it's good times to try to you know, get back in the market and accumulate. I wouldn't be longing or shorting right here, trying to be a trader. I think that would be kind of risky. People do what they do. Uh, I wanted to look at our open interest, leverage, position is sort of resetting. We're back at 8, eight um, here. I feel a little bit better if we came down a little bit further, but we were getting overheated. And that was pretty obvious there for a bit. So we really want this to cool off, go, go green again. But over time, that will increase. So Yeah. And back to my favorite graph. So we're getting our first little red candle here. You know, do we come down? I don't. I, I really don't think we're. We already retested our 20k level on this bull. This bull pump. I think if we do come down much further, I think we'll test the next volume node, which is at 23, 24 again. That's kind of our confluence area. And uh, what what happens from here? Especially if we lose this. We're on this node right here. We lose this node. There's not much to hold this down until 23, 24. So either we pump down, come back up, or we pump up, then come back down. And when we come back down, depending on the time of the year, it's May, June, you know, we have to really understand that we might get a big wick back down to 20K or something crazy because it could happen. All right. So it's just like, you know, some kind of a black swan. But a lot of my indicators are showing to 38 to 40K or it's going to be a massive resistance line that I just. A lot of people were worried that 30k was going to be the main resistance. I think the 40k, 38 to 40k is going to be our main resistance. So take that as you will. Okay, I wanted to look, probably the last thing I want to take a look at right now, um, the total uh, total market cap here. This isn't the right total I wanted. One second. Total exclude. It's not it. the BTC. There we go. Sorry. Yeah, so we are getting a cool off. It's on the weekly. We have our inverse head and shoulders. We're retesting that. I mean, we, you know, if we go just sideways right now, this is very similar to the Bitcoin market, uh, chart as well. But if we just go sideways, this will re this will recharge uh, our so We're also holding support here. You know, I just don't... The whole market cap, I don't see us going way far down. Like, it's going to... People are going to stay in crypto, so we might just get like a big altcoin rally, and that's where we'll get another leg up. I, mean, I, th I really feel like we're going to get a higher, a higher level. We need, we really need to come up to like two trillion, one point five. See, I'm seeing confluence at the one point five to one point seven eight. I'm really seeing one point five to two trillion kind of being a, a move. Uh, this year it could happen the next couple months until June or it could happen like maybe in October, November. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm just, I don't think we're going to get some big push down and lose our 1.1 1, 1. 1 trillion. That's pretty amazing. I don't think we're going to get much further than that. I just don't, I just don't see it. Uh, same here. Here's like, here's excluding Bitcoin. I mean, I just don't, and we're, we're getting held uh, up by the 21, no one looks at the total market cap of crypto. Everyone talks about Bitcoin, this, Bitcoin, that. Yes, it has the most uh, market value, but like people need to look at this. This is the 21 week. It's bullish. It's holding support. We are good. <laughs> it's going to be sideways for a while, probably. So keep calm, hodl. Like, I'm really thinking XRP case might be uh, coming to an end. There's ISO compliant tokens, whatever. Banking tokens, XRP, XLM. XDC, I'm kind of I'm really kind of looking at those. Um, if that case gets approved, we're going to get a crazy rally. So um, hang in there. We're going to check back in later this week if there's any crazy news. There really wasn't much news today. Um, not all. I mean, I was kind of chiming into a few channels. Not much happened. So 
we'll check back in when anything uh, crazy happens, but I'd, I'd be taking this opportunity to stack and hodl. Anyways, peace.